Hi, thanks for coming and checking out my uh, my post I made. Uh, if you're interested in my uh, Jeff Roland Design Group Model 1 amplifier, I decided to go ahead and just post a video to show that both channels are working properly because uh, I generally don't take returns on vintage stuff, you know, uh, just a few bad people have made that uh, made that necessary. Um, I, funny, I have uh, didn't have any other preamps available to me right now, so I had to take this funky 1970-something uh, Kenwood 40-watt per channel receiver and unbridge it so I could use that preamp function of it. So I have an amplifier that puts out 0 0.025 distortion and a preamp probably in its state right now that probably puts out about a 0.5 distortion radio. So, so it unfortunately not really fair to the amp, but even under those conditions, uh, you'll see how good it sounds. Um, make it even more funny, I didn't. I was kind of too lazy, so I'm using one Sansui 2000 and one funky old Technics middle of the road cheap veneer type um, speaker. So not even a match set of speakers. Definitely not my best. But uh, with you, that all that said, this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna do the balance. Show you. You can look at some of the stuff I've sold over the years really quick like I'm starting to, not all of it, but I'm starting to compile a list of things and listen up for a minute. Awesome. Uh, it costs new. 
1990, which is the equivalent of right around $6,000 in today's money. Amazing. Um, I'm going to regret selling it, but I'm happy for the person who's buying it. Maybe a little later I might post something showing the amp driving a, a pair of uh, dual 15-inch JBL professional series uh, concert uh, reinforcement type speakers. Stuff pulls that off easily. Thanks. Bye.